questions answered. We are going to spend the next hour working to answer as many of your questions as we can. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Vanessa Eccles. And I'm Greg Wormuth. First things first, we have some social distancing here. Six feet apart. Let's introduce you also to our panel of experts who you'll be hearing from, and they are at Advent Health. Again, that six feet rule we're all following. Dr. Timothy Hendricks in the middle. He is the medical director of Advent Health Centric Care. Hi, Timothy. Dr. Hendricks, he's going to walk us through signs and symptoms as well as prevention and testing. Dr. Peter Schuck is the Senior Vice President for Population Health at Advent Health. He'll focus on questions about work, social distancing, and keeping the community safe. He is on the right of your screen there. And Dr. Louise Allen is a board-certified psychiatrist and medical director at Advent Health Center for Behavioral Health. He'll dig into the psychological effects of coronavirus, the anxiety surrounding it. Many of us are feeling that. And how to stay mentally healthy during what's going to be a long stretch, more than likely. And so we know so many of you have questions. Here's how you can send them to us on social media. Go to the WFTV Channel 9 Facebook page. You can tweet us at WFTV or you can post on our Instagram page, WFTV9. Now, Advent Health also activated its own hotline staff with medical experts to answer your questions as well. The number to call is one 877 Virus HQ. It's also up on your screen. You see it right there. The information line is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And here's the most up to date information for you on the virus in Florida, straight from the Department of Health just moments ago. There are 328 Florida cases of COVID 19. 14 of those are new since this morning, 40 are in Central Florida. And there's a county by county breakdown on your screen as well right now. Now, what's changed since we last saw you at 6 o'clock tonight? Two new cases in Orange County and one new case in Brevard County. The number of deaths has also risen now to eight. The overall case number will likely expand soon as well now that the state is building a testing site in Orange County. There's going to be a regional site at the convention center uh, that we probably will be operational uh, in the next 48 hours. Uh, we are waiting for information uh, as, as we speak. All the deliverables are getting into place and it's going to be managed by the National Guard. And I'm pretty sure that we will play a support role in those efforts. We'll have a lot more on the local impact of COVID-19 coming up on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11. But right now, we want to focus on you and the questions that you have. You know, we're taking in so much information, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. We're also generating a lot of questions as we go through and navigate through this. And that's why we're here to do that tonight. So let's get to that first question, which is, where can I be tested? So, Dr. Hendricks, if you will take that one. So many people are asking that. They feel like they want to get the test. So where do they go? What do they do? Well, first of all, we have to understand that testing is mainly for those people that have symptoms. We're not testing people that are concerned about uh, contact or exposure in our community because our priority is to test those that have symptoms and those that have risk factors. For instance, travel, contact with a community where there's a higher risk of a coronavirus, etc. So we are doing testing at Centricare, but again, on that limited basis based on those uh, criteria. Uh, Dr. Hendricks, I have to have a follow-up question as it relates to that with you. We see people that were otherwise perfectly healthy, maybe a basketball player, get tested, the test comes back. Why is there this disproportionate testing happening where folks who appear to have more money than others are, are being tested? Can you answer that? That, that's a good question. I agree with you that uh, there are people getting tested that really don't need to be tested. And um, so we're hearing about that and it's going contradictory to our CDC guidelines and standards. So the community thinks that, well, I can get tested. These other people are getting tested and it's just not medically uh, justified. Um, but I'm not going to make judgments of uh, a, another doctor's practice where they might be doing those tests. All right, so let's get down to the bottom line. Can I get a coronavirus test at Advent Health? That came in from one of our Facebook followers, Dr. Hendricks. Uh, yes, you can, but again, based on those criteria. So um, at Advent Health, uh, our uh, facilities all have the test available. We have a commercially available test at our hospital, um, and we're sending out to reference labs uh, for our ambulatory center. Now, uh, we started testing last Friday um, at Centra Care and offering that to our patients, the patients that are at risk. Um, and we found that uh, there has been a little bit of a delay in getting those results back. So it's, a, it's about a five to seven day turn. 
turnaround time to get those results in an ambulatory setting. Our hospital has priority, so if we have uh, patients that are in the hospital and are in the ICU, we need to know right away, we can get those tests a lot faster. So there's a little bit of a difference there, and that's why I want to emphasize that we only want to be testing those that absolutely need it and, um, and prioritize those people. Um, I know people think, I want the test. Why can't I get the test? Why isn't the test available?